Bill Seidman accomplished much in his life. He earned a Bronze Star during World War II. He founded businesses in West Michigan. Seidman was a leader who worked with leaders, including governors and presidents. Today, the CNBC family lost one of our own, former FDIC Chairman William Seidman, who most recently served as the chief commentator for CNBC. His death rocked the financial world, where he had such an impact. I think everybody loved Bill because you knew you had a person of tremendous warmth, uh, good feeling, smart, really trying to serve his country. And it rocked his friends and colleagues in his longtime home of West Michigan. Friends thought he was indestructible. What is indestructible is the long legacy he leaves behind. He was certainly a man who accomplished an awful lot throughout his life. He was one of the original founders of Grand Valley State University. Just a few months before he died, Bill shared his story of his role in founding Grand Valley State University, something he said is one of his crowning achievements. We didn't have a public uh, four-year college in our town, and I read uh, a report by Russell which said uh, that because of that, uh, the youth in our area were going to college at a lower rate than almost any place in the state. So I said, this is not good for the city, it's not good for the economy, it's not good for the young people, so I think I'll see if I can do something about it. I took action. I asked about 10 people to lunch on Friday at the Pamplin Hotel, as it was then, now the Amway. And when I got them all together, I said, I know most of us are not used to having a drink at lunch, but I'd like, to all ha I'd like you all to have a drink on me because then I want to talk to you about something. And then I said, you know, I think this city is one of the most wonderful cities that I've been in, and I've been in quite a few, but it really lacks something, and that is public higher education. And I think we all ought to get together and see if we can bring it to Grand Rapids. And we then we started having meetings with all kinds of organizations. Anybody would listen to us, and I would play High Hopes, you know, a song of High Hopes, Just what makes the uh, ant land. moving a rubber tree plant. And then we would tell them about this and ask them for their support. So we entertain people at our house usually a couple times a week. To start with, we didn't ask anybody for money. We just asked them for their support, particularly with the legislature and with the governor. And uh, we had to convince them that this was going to be a great thing for the community and particularly that it was going to be very good for the economy of the community as well as for the young people. But by and large, it was terrific support by the business community and the business leaders. And uh, within uh, about 18 months, we had built up enough support to go down to Lansing and uh, start asking for uh, a charter. And then we had to take a bill and get it through the committees. And uh, in the, the House, I think it was, we got through by one vote. We were diligent. We really worked at it. And then eventually, the state, you said, you can have a charter if you raise a million dollars to give to the state and buy a campus for the university. Then we got into fundraising. I mean, we were not only raising money, but it was on a promise. It was uh, clearly not something we could show them in uh, bricks and mortar, but we got terrific support from the banks, from the big industries like Steelcase and uh, others. We got the labor unions supported us, and, uh, and we had sell a brick, and we sold a brick to each citizen who would give us a dollar, and, and we finally uh, got up to a million dollars. But it wasn't easy. It took a a lot of people, a lot of work to get there. I officially dedicate and break the ground for the construction of the Grand Valley State College. It had, it was there because the community had supported it. A lot of people had their money in it, and therefore it got started with far greater community input and support than I think most institutions uh, do, which don't start 
with the community movement. I believe that it would become a major university. 25,000 was on the top side. I feel wonderful about it. I've had a great life. I've worked for three presidents of the United States. I've been uh, in major business. There's nothing that I've done in life that gives me the satisfaction of seeing how Grand Valley State University is delivering on its promise to the Western Michigan area.